Woo, hey everyone, this is Dura from Daily Crypto Trade Savings coming to you live, live from Vietnam, guys. Looks like they're gonna be shutting down crypto. They're gonna be shutting down Shiba Inu. They're gonna be shutting down the Doja Wojo, guys. And what is the SEC doing that just tank the freaking market so we're going to be talking about that and what kind of exposure what kind of factors is this going to have a short term and long term on the crypto markets guys and how is it going to impact you as a crypto investor as a crypto person out there and what should you be doing so we're going to be talking about all of that and much much more in this video so don't forget to go down there smash the likes you know, like crazy, show some love, you love for the OG and just show love, love, love. And don't forget to that none of this is financial advice, just the OG in the house expressing my opinion, guys. And if you haven't subscribed, please go and do that right now. So, right now, we did see that the fear and greed uh, did fall pretty considerably yesterday, uh, and uh, we are at neutral right now. And uh, you know, the, the SEC they just kind of like you know, kiboshed everything. So we did see that the the U.S. markets did also tumble as well yesterday. We are seeing that uh, right now Yahoo is laying off 20% of its workforce, so more and more layoffs out there. Uh, we did have the jobs data that did come out uh, yesterday as well. Uh, they were kind of, they were kind of like in, in, basically in line. It was, that was kind of like a no-brainer. And if you take a look at what's going on with the crypto markets right now, we are seeing that the crypto markets are, are, are just horrendous right now. We're seeing that, uh, you know, Bitcoin has dropped below 23,000, dropped below 22,000, and it is at 21,898. Now, I did warn everybody yesterday that this is probably going to happen. We're probably going to see some retesting of previous support levels, and we're seeing that. Uh, you know, am, am I worried? No. I think, uh, you know, I'm going to be waiting uh, because I think that we're going to be seeing the crypto markets and the crypto coins and the crypto tokens and crypto everything is going to be going down much, much more. Uh, so we're going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about that, uh, but everything just got totally uh, decimated out there if you take a look at the total market cap right now for cryptocurrency we did see that uh, you know we took almost a five percent hit and we're gonna be t I'm gonna tell you why why we went down five percent why you went down five percent I think we're gonna have a very quick speedy recovery you know uh, hopefully I'm right I mean if I'm wrong then it's gonna be a long drawn out accumulation at the support uh, level so we're gonna be talking about what those support levels are but we are seeing that the uh, total uh, Bitcoin dominance has dropped 41.5 we did see that the ethereum uh, dominance is about the same but we are about 1.02 trillion and we're we're at the risk level we're at the risk level now of dropping uh below uh one trillion guys so anyway it's get it, it, it's not it's an unhappy day out there it's an unhappy day out there so we did see that most of the cryptocurrencies have dropped uh, more than five percent uh ethereum did uh, bnb did um you know xrp only down three percent binance uh usd who cares about that cardano is down 7.57 percent Polymatic was only down 2.60%. However, Polymatic has flipped, has flipped Doge. So you can see that uh, right now Doge at 10.8 uh, billion, and uh, Matic is uh, Polymatic is at 10.9. So it looks like you know it looks like uh, Polymatic and Doge are going to be fighting it out, scrapping it out for the number nine spot, guys. So, eh, you know, you know. But the good thing, the good thing is. Uh, uh, you know, Cardano is, is losing some steam as well. So hopefully Doge can get itself back up to the eighth spot at some time. So that's got me kind of kind of interested uh, in a negative way. So we're seeing that the DXY is up. So you guys did see that, you know, every single crypto uh, yesterday uh, did have this whole did have this whole dump, guys. You can see it here if I take off all the ribbons. You can see that we had this we had a massive five percent dump yesterday. Uh, we saw it for we saw it for Ethereum. Let me take Ethereum. Let me take off the ribbon. We saw a massive, you know, a massive, massive uh, six percent dump for Ethereum. Uh, for Dogecoin, we're seeing something similar. Let me take off the ribbons. We saw Dogecoin had a nine point six seven percent dump. Uh, we did see that. Um, let me take off the ribbons. We did see that uh, also Shiba Inu had a massive ten point nine seven percent dump. So, right now, for Bitcoin, what I'm what I'm looking at is you can see that we have broken down below the EMA ribbons. Not not good, guys. Absolutely not good. Uh, this uh, this uh, you know this uh, golden cross didn't help us out there. And you know really what is what is mitigating what is causing all of the cryptos to go down is very simple, guys. Uh, it, it 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 is simple. It is simple. Uh, it is basically this is the news, guys. What's making crypto markets fall today? Well, it's because the SEC went after Kraken. Kraken and Lacken, and they charged uh, they 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 charged uh, Kraken uh, with uh, having uh, securities when they didn't, you know. And basically, uh, Kraken had to pay a fine. 
and uh, they had to stop their staking program. So it looks like the SEC is going after the after uh, crypto exchanges right now. So this kind of had like a you know like a bit of a, a tsunami reaction across all of the exchange across all the crypto markets. So it looks like the SEC accused California-based Kraken crypto exchange of offering an unregistered crypto staking program, called it a violation of the U.S. securities law. Panic spread across the broader uh, crypto markets, and that's why everything tanked, guys. So hopefully, hopefully we get some good news coming out, and that will kind of like, uh, if we get the good news, if we get the good news, then this is just going to be you know a bad day in crypto. If we continue, if we continue to get more and more negative news, then that's going to push the crypto markets down and down and down, and that's not going to be good, guys. That's not going to be good. Uh, you know, from my perspective, if we take a look at what's going on here. We can see that uh, Bitcoin, the next support level for Bitcoin is 21.2. So we're going to be trading between 21.9 and 21.2 for the, for the unforeseeable future when it comes to Bitcoin because of this news. So if we get some good news, we'll quickly reverse and we'll get ourselves above uh, 23K. If not, then we're just going to be home on the range bound. Pretty much same story for Ethereum as well. Uh, pretty, pretty much the same with a story for Ethereum. We're going to be ranged between 1671 and uh, 1500. That's, that's what it is. That's what it is. And we're going to be accumulating there. Uh, depends on if we get some good news, we'll pop up back above uh, the resistance, which is now resistance here, which was support. Let me change that red. Uh, if not, uh, we will just be like in this whole area. So that's what's going to be happening. For, so for the price of Doge right now, it's pretty much the same story. It's going to be happening for Doge. Uh, Doge has uh, basically had a huge, a huge annihilation. We dropped below nine. Uh, we got a support level at uh, eight. And uh, if we get some bad news, then we could definitely may even be pushed below eight out there. So that's what's happening for Doge Wozier. Pretty much same situation for Shibi Weeby right now as well. Uh, Shibi Weeby is, uh, is going to be trading sideways at uh, 12 and resistance level at 13. So that is that is what I'm thinking. That's what you should be thinking. That's the most likely scenario out there. So let me change this to red so you guys can see what's going on. So that's what is causing, that is what causing the dump. Some of the big news that's coming in, uh, Kraken Exchange uh, shuts down staking after uh, SEC charges. They did pay the fine. Uh, possible targets, some good news though. We still, even though we still have some possible targets uh, for 2023, uh, you know, 50,000. You know, stock money leaders are saying, look, we could retrace to the Fibonacci 3, 8.2 level, and I could see 50,000. I mean, this is just a this is just a bad February, guys. Bad February, bad February. Don't worry about it. Uh, Bitcoin wise, B Bitcoin daily RSI is sitting on support. So we have actually broken down the, from the support. So that is not good, as I said, broken down. Uh, like I said, SEC, staking, Kraken, that is what's causing the whole kibosh today. So once again, more stories about Bitcoin sinks below 23,000, crypto regulation scrutiny intensifies. So it looks like, you know, there could be more uh, staking programs uh, being shut down. Uh, Binance still has their staking programs. No problem out there. Looks like uh, looks like also uh, one of the uh, other SEC commissioners basically says, "I don't agree with this. This is kibosh. I don't agree." So at least you know, it looks like uh, you know Hester Pierce. There's some dissension out there. Some people agree. Some people don't agree. Uh, you know, and it looks like it's kind of funny that the that the you know that our friend uh, Gensler out there and the FTX. Nothing really happened out there, right? Nothing really happened. We're seeing, uh, because of this, we're seeing a lot of movement uh, of crypto. We're seeing uh, $475 million worth of Bitcoin, Polymatic, and XRP were moved. They weren't moved to exchanges, so that is good news. They were just kind of moved around to different wallets, so uh, not, too, not too shabby. Looks like some good news for the Shiba Inu. Looks like Hubei to soon list Shiba Inu ecosystem bone token, so that is pretty good if you are a Shiba Inu holder. Justin, 91% of institutional investors are interested in buying digital assets. And that's, that's a survey done by BNY Mellon. That's very bullish, guys. Even though it's a bad day in crypto, it's bullish, guys. And it looks like also, it looks like Speaker of the House also likes cryptocurrency. So let's listen to what he has to say. And this was, uh, this was on Squawk Box, guys. Blockchain and Bitcoin. Look, I like I like Bitcoin. Uh, is, is, yep. it, is it where it needs to be? No, but the real thing I like when it comes to Bitcoin is blockchain because I like the security. Uh, I, I, I want I want well, you government to it, actually start using to, Bitcoin. You need to keep blockchain. Talking. It took yeah. me a while. They're probably trying to see that. Look, Bitcoin has a future. Maybe it's so many. Yeah, it has. Uh, 
decades in the, in, in, ahead of us, but what if they can use a small version of What I really think they're doing is they're taking Vimbo and actually putting yeah. uh, a, a new exactly. version on it and trying to add a blockchain to it at the same time. You have a Twitter. A bank with yeah. So that's bullish. That's pretty bullish news, guys. What else is coming in? Robinhood lost 57 million after a glitch that let users short the stock. So looks like some 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 uh, users were able to uh, short the hood and make out make out uh, make out like Flynn. So I don't know what's going to be happening. Will Robinhood be clawing back the funds that they lost? We'll have to wait and see, guys. So looks like uh, looks like the SEC is shutting down crypto, guys. Shutting down crypto. Oh, world's coming to an end, guys. Don't forget to smash Dogecoin one more month, Dogecoin five five five, Dogecoin three three three, and. Guys, it's a great time to be alive. Just in New York regulators launch investigation into BUSD, USDP, stablecoin issuer Paxo, according to CoinDesk, guys. So, looks like the regulators are kind of, they've been busy. They've been absolutely busy out there. Uh, this is also coming in. All banks are broke because fractional reserve banking means that banks that lend money, they don't have. Remember, uh, banks only need to keep a fractional, a fractional amount of money in their reserves to be able to loan money. So remember, if they loan $1,000, it doesn't mean they have to have $1,000 uh, sitting in a bank account. They can loan out $1,000 but only have like less than 1% of that actual cash and reserves. So that's why, that's why we see banks are broken, banks are not working, and cryptocurrency is the new future, guys. So absolutely cool, guys. Wow, this is good news looks like Mississippi uh, Mississippi Mississippi Senate passes historical bill protecting Bitcoin mining so that is pretty good guys and this is huge legislation this is very positive crypto so there's a lot of positive crypto news out there uh, like I said Dogecoin it's trying to make a comeback uh, out there if we get some positive news for crypto We'll quickly recover, quickly reverse but you know if you take a look at the, if you take a look at the if you take a look at the uh, returns uh, let's take a look at the crypto returns right now. Uh, let's get to the data, Bitcoin returns. Let's see what's going on for the crypto returns. Let's take a look at it on the monthly here. We can see right now that so far, February, we're only down 5.41%. Okay. So if you if you minus 5.41% from 39%, we're still up like 30, 32% and some change. Uh, so we're still up for the whole year of 2023. We're still up. So guys, it's not too shabby, right? Not too shabby. Uh, you know, don't don't panic. Don't panic, guys. Don't uh, you know? Don't go nuts out there. And uh, you know, things are going to be things are going to be okay, guys. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. Things are okay overall. Uh, Dogecoin wise, guys. Dogecoin fear and greed slip. We were greedy yesterday, but we are neutral right now. What else is coming, guys? Keep in mind that Dogecoin is the only crypto Tesla accepts. So remember, Tesla accepts crypto, and the only one it accepts is Dogecoin. So that's pretty positive, guys. And don't forget, I'm still loving the Doge. You should still love the Doge. And I think this is a really good time, a really freaking good time to to accumulate, guys. Absolutely good time to accumulate and. Um, you know, we might be able to buy the dip, guys. So I, th I see this as a positive opportunity, not a negative opportunity for the Doge, guys. Uh, let's take a look at the tokenomics out. Take a look at the tokenomics out there. I'm feeling chipper. Today's my day off. Thank goodness for that. I'm off. To I got two days off. I got two days off. I'm still recovering after the Mumbai trip, guys. That was tiring out there. Uh, as we know, Dogecoin is, uh, you know, uh, sucks right now. It's down 8.74%. Uh, the volumes are up uh, like 854 million dollars almost a billion bucks out there uh, that's up 94 percent but a lot of that is selling guys there are some selling but there are also some buying guys about 50 50 selling and buying so eh, eh, it is what it is but it's maybe a good time to pick up the dip guys pick up the dip dollar cost average i did dollar cost average in yesterday uh, as the markets are falling so that is pretty good market cap is down did did down down so not too good not too good out there if you take a look at uh, who's in the money who's out of the money for the doozy where's your right now we are seeing that right now for the douche, we're seeing about 56% are in and 38% out. So not too, not too, not too bad, not too bad. Social mentions right now are seeing that uh, Dogecoin is, is in a four spot, 24.58 billion. Uh, that's not too bad. We're seeing that on the weekly right now, social mentions, social engagements are down, d d d d down, down. On the monthly right now, we're still up, guys. So, uh, you know, because we had all this negative, negative uh, news that's been going on, crypto's been kind of going down, been kind of flat for the whole week. That's why people are not engaged. And don't forget, uh, October 17th, don't forget to go and... Uh, don't forget to go and tweet out Dogecoin, hashtag Dogecoin and the Dogecoin logo on Twitter, guys. And that's a big day, guys, a big day for us. So, guys, that's going to bring this video to a close. I would appreciate it. And, guys, if you have your crypto on a lending platform, do, 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 
get a hardware wallet, go down there uh, below the video description and get it, guys. And don't forget to be part of the freaking conversation, guys. Be part of the freaking conversation. You want it. Let's get it, guys. Don't miss a beat. Don't miss a trick. And do follow me. Do follow me on Twitter. I appreciate it. And Dogecoin is riding, guys. Do ride the Dogecoin. You know, Dogecoin sitting by a pool. Uh, we got tons of tons of stuff, guys. Uh, don't forget to go back and watch all the other videos. I appreciate it. What else we got? Dogecoin on Mars, guys. Get Dogecoin on Mars. And Dogecoin, the new currency. Let's replace uh, Washington. Uh, who, who's on the dollar bill? I can't remember. Uh, is it Lincoln? I can't remember. Well, whoever's on the dollar bill, let's replace it with the Dogecoin logo. I think that would be really cool, guys. And remember, it's insane. Uh, crypto's insane right now. It's a great time to be live. So, guys, don't, don't panic out there. Absolutely don't panic, guys. Don't forget to get the merch. I just want to say God bless everybody out there. Have a great day. I'm off today. I'm going to go to the beach, guys. I'm going to head out to the beach in a minute. And I just want to say much love to everybody. I love you guys. You love me. I hope you love me. Don't forget to smash the like, lick the like, super chat. We appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Peace out.